Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have decided to do a makeup Q&A for today's video. I just think Q&As are just a fun video to film and I love makeup too. So let's get started. So I have got 20 questions that I'm going to answer. And the first question is, do you remember your first makeup item? Um, I don't really know what it was. It was probably a mascara or something from one of the magazines I used to get when I was younger. Um, so yeah, just from a magazine. Describe your perfect mascara. Um, my perfect mascara would be one that wouldn't clump up your eyelashes and one that gives me like volume to my eyelashes. The one that I use at the moment is Soap and Glory's Thick and Fast Mascara. Um, it's not, it doesn't clump up my eyelashes a lot and um, it is thick and fast like it says. Um, and I like it and it's probably the best mascara that I've ever bought so I stick with this one from Soap and Glory. What kind of coverage do you prefer for your foundation? I prefer to have full coverage because I do suffer with getting a lot of spots and I do have scars on my face from spots. So the best foundation I use is Kat Von D's Lock It foundation. Um, it works well with my skin, doesn't make my skin look dry, it covers, gives me full coverage to hide all my blemishes and marks on my face and it really does match my skin tone so I'm happy with that. I always use this foundation, um, so yeah, my best foundation ever used. Favourite high-end brand? Um, I've probably got a few. I buy a lot of makeup products from Kat Von D's beauty range. Um, I've got a lot of her eyeshadows, a lot of her lipsticks, also use her foundation and a lot of her eyeliners too. Uh, recently I've also got into using Fenty Beauty makeup. Um, I absolutely love her eyeshadows and her summer lip paints. They're the best lip product I've ever used. I've actually got one on now. Um, and probably Urban Decay. Um, I've got three of their naked palettes and I love all the colours in there and they're good quality. So love Urban Decay as well. What cosmetic brands have you always wanted to try but still haven't? Um, I've always wanted to try Huda Beauty. I did actually buy a small eyeshadow palette when I was uh, shopping in Sephora, but that's the only thing that I've actually got from Huda Beauty. I do want to try more from her range, like her lipsticks, more eyeshadows, um, just to see how it is. So I think I might be buying more Huda Beauty products in the future. Favourite drugstore brand? My favourite drugstore brand is probably NYX. I'm in love with this powder puff lippy that they've got at the moment. This is new. Um, this is in the colour Cool Intentions. Um, the favourite colour from the range at the moment. I do want to get some more. It goes on so well. And it's basically a little sponge applicator. It's so soft. And it does actually last long on your lips. Um, I do want to try more from the range. As I love lip products, um, I would say this is not a bad lip product to buy. So probably NYX is probably my best drugstore brand that I've used. Do you wear fake eyelashes? No, I don't wear fake eyelashes. Um, I find my eyelashes are long enough as, as they are. And plus, I can't really put fake eyelashes on. I struggle a lot and I've tried before, but I just, I can't do it. And I gave up, so... No, I don't wear fake eyelashes. Is there any kind of makeup you can't leave the house without? Um, yes. Uh, I can't leave the house without lipstick. Um, so every time I go out, I have to put lipstick on. I can't not have any lipstick on, except from when I go to work. Um, so whatever lipstick I've got on, I've got to take out of me on that day and reapply it when I need it. Um, sometimes I take powder out with me for when bit sweaty so maybe in the summer I'll take powder out of me just to help with shine but definitely cannot leave the house without lipstick without a doubt. What is your most cherished beauty product? My most cherished beauty product is um, Rihanna's Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint. Um, I've got this in the colour Uncuffed and the red one which I think is uncensored but um, it I love like the sponge to it as well it goes on so nicely I've got this colour on now on my lips um, 
I've been using this every day since I've got it and this is my favourite colour um, it's not too bright, not too light um, and it stays on all day so this is my favourite, one of my favourite lip products that I've ever bought in my life how often do you shop for makeup? Um, well I probably look on the internet every day for makeup um, every time there's a new product out I have to have a look and see what it is and I'll probably buy it if I like it um, every time it comes to my birthday and Christmas I always ask for makeup every time I go shopping I have to go in Debenhams to see what there is or any other makeup shop and have a look around um, and also if there's any sales going on as well I have to look in the sales to see if there's anything that I like even if I don't need it but I love makeup and so yeah I probably look for makeup every day um, I probably shouldn't because that's where most of my money goes but what can you do? Do you have a beauty budget or spend freely? Um, no I don't have a beauty budget um, I probably should I mean I don't go over maybe like a hundred pounds um, because I brought a Kat Von D eyeshadow palette recently and that was like 50 something pounds on its own um, and I brought a few bits to go with it as well so it was a lot of money that I spent but it wasn't over £100 so maybe 100 might be my budget but I tend to just buy makeup if I win it then I get it um, don't really think about a budget I should probably think about a budget do you utilise coupons, reward cards and sales when you shop for cosmetics? Um, I always look in the sales for makeup. Um, so, yeah. We don't really have, like, a reward system thing here in the UK. I mean, I do have a Debenhams Beauty card and a Boots, Boots card. Um, so, every time I get points in that, I use that towards spending that on makeup products so probably yeah I like getting money off of makeup I mean who doesn't every time there's a discount code to be used I always use it so yeah every time there's a sale discounts I'm on it love it what type of product do you use the most um it's between eyeshadows and lipsticks um I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes um some of them I don't hardly use but I got them just because I wanted them um, and I have a lot of lipsticks as well I probably say that I use lipsticks the most because well hmm, I wear lipstick every day I wear, eyesh wear eyeshadow every day but I do love lipstick so probably lipstick I would probably say is there a brand that you can't stand no not really um, I tend to use any type of brand that I like haven't come across any brands that I'm not a big fan of yet so no do you avoid any ingredients in your makeup um no I mean lavender I'm allergic to lavender but no not anything that should be harmful I mean I probably should look at things that aren't good for my skin because I do have dry skin I should probably look for stuff like that um, but no, not really. Do you have a favourite place to shop? Um, most of my makeup products come from Debenhams. We don't have a big makeup shop here in the UK like a Sephora. I really wish we had a Sephora because that would be my favourite place to shop. When I go to America, I always go in a Sephora. So, Sephora in America, my favourite place to shop. In the UK would be Debenhams because that's where my makeup comes from. It's the only place that sells Kat Von D makeup. So, yeah. Do you like trying new skincare products or do you have a certain routine? Um, I tend to stick to the same products because my skin is dry. And, um, yeah, I don't really like changing them, especially when they've got harmful or strong ingredients in them. So I try to t um, use products that aren't scented and are good for sensitive skin. So at the moment I use Nivea 2-in-1 Cleanse and Toner. Um, to start with as it will help to moisturise my face um, and clean it, give it a deeper clean. I then use Ketterfield's Oily Skin Cleanser um, 
and I just need to remove the oil and excess dirt from your face without drying my skin out. So I use that as well. Then after I've washed my face and exfoliated and all of that, I then use Cetaphil's moisturising cream. Um, I've used this for a long, long time and I find this really works with my dry skin. So I would never use a different brand, always Cetaphil. I love Cetaphil's products. Favourite bath and body brand is probably Soap and Glory. I do have a lot of Soap and Glory products and I find that it tends to last long as well. Um, I always ask for it for Christmas and I always get a lot of it as well so it probably lasts me a long time. So um, yeah, Soap and Glory is good. If you could only buy from one brand, what would you choose? Um, that's a hard one. Um, probably Fenty Beauty because um, yeah, it probably would have been Kat Von D because I've bought her stuff for years. But then I then discovered Fenty Beauty's range. Love her eyeshadows, love her lipsticks, and I've tried her foundation and her primer, and they're all good products. So, yeah, probably Fenty Beauty. I wouldn't mind saying that for the rest of my life. Really wouldn't mind. What brand do you think has the best packaging? Um, I would probably have to say Kat Von D because of like the details that go into her stuff. Like this one has a lot of detailing in it and obviously her writing, she designs it herself. Um, so yeah, I'd probably say, say Kat Von D just because of all the details and the patterns that are on her products. So that was my 20 questions for my makeup q and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give a big thumbs up. And I shall see you guys soon. Bye bye.